taxi cab passengers in the district will no doubt rejoice later this summer because all DC cabs will be required by then to have credit card readers. Good for passengers, of course, but not all cab drivers are thrilled about this. DC Bureau Chief Sam Ford is live with a reaction to today's vote from the DC Cab Commission. Sam. Well, Allison, it seems a lot of those complaints from cab drivers are just fading away. We didn't hear any today, but it is just a matter of time for some 7,000 DC cabs to start having the meters installed, and it should be completed by the end of summer. So it is finally happening. DC has mandated that all cabs be able to handle credit cards by August 31st, and not a moment too soon for cab drivers like Ahmad John. Because I hear a lot of complaints from the passengers. The minute they ask if I take a credit card and I say no, they get upset. Like it is somehow my fault, which is not. This has been a difficult journey for the city. Last summer, Mayor Gray showed off elaborate new smart devices that could handle credit cards and even provide TV. But a lawsuit nicks that. Now the city just wants them in the cabs. And the cab riders like the idea. Everyone's using credit cards and paying at the restaurant with a card, you know, paying over their phone with a card. There's been times when I wanted to take a cab and I didn't have any cash on me and to have to go to an ATM. And drivers who used to protest meters, credit card readers, anything, now seem to have accepted it's coming. Some are even using smartphones to do it now. I'm already taking a credit card. If somebody is asking for a credit card, I'll take it. Travelers could not recall another city where cabs don't take credit cards, said one. It's the 21st century. So how do drivers pay for these new credit card readers? The Taxi Cab Commission today is increasing the drop rate. That's when you first get in a cab from $3 to $3.25. Also, the drivers will be able to charge an extra dollar for each extra passenger. Reporting live from Northwest Washington, Sam Ford, ABC 7 News. Okay.